Hello everybody, it's Smyrna Cowboy here. Nice lady. Uh, let's see where my leashed up friend is. Should be running around in here, but he just must be inside today. Well, hello everybody. I'm going to uh, the bank and going to Walmart and just doing some errands today. I should be working today, but uh, I finally erased my yellow streak and uh, went to go get my cortisone shot today. And uh, with the help of my beautiful wife, escorted me to the uh, hospital. Actually, pulled me by the hair of the head to drag me to the hospital. <laughs> But uh, I had that uh, cortisone shot today, and the doctor that was administering, thank you, administering the shot was looking on the uh, CT uh, screen and could not believe that I was even walking because the damage was so extent to my hip. So they had to add some more. Uh, something to it steroids or I don't know steroids lidocaine whatever whatever it is I have no clue and uh, so he told me it would be my better interest to stay off work tonight because I told him what I did for a living and uh, so he said it would be my better interest to stay off of work tonight but that shot has made me a thousand times better as far as the pain goes. I'm in virtually no pain at all. Uh, but it uh, it was really scary to me to get that to get that shot. And uh, I don't know if it was just the adverse reaction to the to the situation or or something. I guess I must have turned pale because <laughs> the. Uh, assistant or nurse or whatever asked me if I was going to be okay if I was going to pass out but uh, I was just really nervous and, and scared at the same time so I got that done and uh, uh, I feel a thousand a thousand times better so however long this lasts I hope it lasts for many months till I have to go again uh, I'm going to have to, next time I go, I'll just have to do a flex day because I can't afford to be out of work. But I asked the FCO, my CFO, Chief Financial Officer, if I could, I needed to go and take off work today. And she said, well, if that's the doctor says, we'll, we'll handle it some other way or something as far as missing the money today. But I have uh, three flex days left so I can... Uh, take those flex days and just schedule the shots in the meantime so as far as my uh, hip goes it feels a thousand percent better I'd like to thank everyone that participated in my little poll the last uh, video I made thank you very much and it may be sooner than uh, than I think to get that hip replacement because the damage is so extent yeah, I don't know how much longer that I can I can bear it. So it's not a it's not really an option of choice now, it's an option of of having to. Which sucks. Uh, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers that subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And uh, I have a uh, request or a challenge, I guess I should say. Suburban Rider has opened up a uh, Suburban Rider and uh, Makali 7 has started a uh, challenge, polar bear challenge, for video loggers. Now, I know in the past that I've said the Smyrna Cowboy don't ride below 35. But in this case, if I know that it's going to be clear and everything, I will make an exception. I will do the three qualifying rides and that'll probably be it. But uh, all you other subscribers out there, if you're interested in taking this polar bear challenge, 
the rules and the uh, regulations are on uh, Suburban Rider, all one word, Suburban Rider with the I, dot N-I-G dot com. I'll put that uh, uh, website up here, up here right now. And uh, if you want to go to that channel and uh, check it out, and you could be a participant in the polar bear challenge. So, uh, let me tell you one more thing. Uh, I went to the uh, DMV. I had to get uh, tags and stickers for my motorcycle for Alf here. And because of my hip, I was qualified to get a handicapped placard because I can't walk a long distance for very far. And especially coming up this Christmas season, you know how the uh, Christmas shopping is. You have to park two miles down the road to even find a parking place and then to uh, walk that far. So I was, uh, I have a, a handicap uh, place card for my car and truck. And so while I was in there to renew my uh, tags and everything, I asked the lady there, I said, can you get a uh, motorcycle uh, license plate for handicap, the handicap uh, license plate for motorcycles, I guess I should say. And she said, sure, sure you can. If you have the note from the doctor, which I did to get the uh, place card. So I had that with me. And so I went ahead and uh, got the uh, handicap plates. Because I think it will help me in the long run to do that. Of course, here at Walmart, you can park in uh, right by the handicap parking places, but uh, just gearing up for this uh, Christmas season. Well, as you can tell, I'm in Walmart's parking lot now. I don't know how long this video is running. I may have to make it in, in two parts. I don't know yet. So we'll just have to find out here. I think I'll just go right here. Go ahead, sir. All right, thank you. So I think I'll park by this pole here. And if you haven't seen a Tennessee uh, handicap license plate for motorcycles, I'll show you here in just a second. I guess I thought I was a cop. They turned the music down. <laughs> love, love it when that happens. <laughs> see if I can see this here. And you can see it there. Handicap motorcycle license plate. Well, I want to go into Walmart and do some shopping. Get a few things. So this is a Smyrna Cowboy from Walmart in beautiful Smyrna, Tennessee, getting darker by the second. Wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios.